Hi everyone, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. As the title states, this is going to be a wig chat and we're taking a look at one of my absolute favorite wig designers, Raquel Welch, in a newish uh, style for her. This is called Real Deal. And we're going to take a look at a color that's very new to me. Not tried this, have not seen this in person yet. It's the Iced Cappuccino. So many of you asked, so just to get this out of the way, the one I have on my head right now is a super easy wear by John Renault. This is Kristen in Malibu Blonde. So I'm filming this actually in my living room because I have a new puppy and I have to keep my eye on him. Uh, so this is a little odd, I know, to see kind of this thing going on here with my wig chats, but it allows me to do them currently and um, I can keep my eye kind of on what's going on. All right, so here we have Raquel Welch. This is the official tag here. So we have Real Deal in the Iced Cappuccino, which is RL1022SS. The shaded has to happen for me. I am a rooted wig gal. I have to have myself a root, even if it's a medium brown color or darker color, I still like to see a shadow right there at the root area. I have not put this wig on my head yet, so this is gonna be a very true first impression with you guys. I'm gonna use, do my usual here. I will put the, the specs, you know, the ounces and, and all of that, anything that I can find information down in the show more or description box below this video. I'm gonna show you the cap and then uh, at some point we're gonna kind of style it and I'm gonna, I don't try to make it work for me. This wig chat is brought to you by Wigs by Patty's Pearls. They've been so kind and gracious to send me this wig so I can share it with you today. Please check out the links down below. It'll take you right there and to their website. Check that out too. When you check out, if you would be so kind to use the code JLBT in the description, I mean in the coupon code area there, because what that does is it allows them to know that I sent you there. And I appreciate when you guys remember to do that. If they're currently holding a sale and they have their own coupon code, they've told me that if you still put JLBT at the end of that code, no spaces, they'll still know that, it, that you came from me. So this is a heat friendly fiber within the Raquel Welch line. So you can add a little heat to this up to, they say 350 degrees. I've never been brave enough to go up that high. I usually hang out between 260, 290, under 300. I've, I've just had good luck with that. If I do add a little something, something to these heat friendly fibers, I just have never had to get up that high and always go for the lowest temperature you can. Um, and of course you got a cold set you just can't curl it like regular human hair, take it out and it's there. You have to clip that curl in, hold it, let it completely cool and then it will be there. It will be there and uh, you have a new memory though. So be very cognizant of that. Um, you've just kind of taken away that initial memory, that style that is not gonna come back after you wash it. It'll come back like you styled it because you've put a new memory in. There it is. Let's take a look at the cap. All the stuff happens in the cap and it's the cap features really that kind of determine how much that wig is gonna cost you. Now, there are exceptions to that, of course, which would be the quality of the synthetic fiber used because there is definitely different qualities of synthetic fibers. So that also plays a part, but I wanna say mostly it is definitely the, the, the what's going on here in the cap. So this is a machine wefted cap all throughout you are gonna get a, a pretty decent amount of stretch here. You're gonna get, you know, all of these sort of open wefts, which give you, you know, some airflow in and out, which is, which is nice. You do have, look at this, a full monofilament top. That means anywhere you part anywhere in here is gonna give you a very lifelike, realistic scalp appearance. That was my cat that was playing. You might hear her in the background. So 
Yes, you get a very realistic scalp appearance, which I will show you once I get this on. We also have the temple to temple lace front. You do not have to trim this lace front. I highly recommend that you do not because it, has, it, is, it is made in a way where it will just completely disappear into your forehead and it is going to uh, not need any trimming. You will probably ruin how it lays nicely on the concave kind of area of your forehead. So these are not made to trim. Now, when Rakow Welch says temple to temple lacing, she really means it. It really is a temple to temple lace front, which is really nice because for instance, you know, like right around here, you can wear it kind of up and away all the way down in here and it's gonna look like it's growing right out of the side of your head. It's, it's really, really nice. John Renault, Raquel Welch, and there are a few other designers do lace fronts very, very well. I've had wigs that have lace fronts that are so awful they would have been better off just not doing it so if there's a lace front involved i want to make sure that it is going to be really nice so before we go on i want to make note here is that these are covered your little side tabs here these are either temple tabs ear tabs whatever you want to call them lined in some really soft velvet uh, that is a pretty big upgrade for me i love having both of the temple tabs and the nape area in some of that really soft fabric. It cuts down on irritation and itching that I can have kind of in a huge way. Um, and so we have that, we have the extended nape, you know, not all wigs have an extended nape and this one does. It has the Velcro pull tabs. You can adjust these up to a half inch on each side. So if you're an average large or an average petite, most likely you could make this work for you. And uh, we do have vertical metal stays here. You want to pinch them when you get it on. Just pinch them in so that that nape will really cup in underneath your occipital bone and your natural nape area and it get it to hug and look very, very uh, just natural. And I didn't discover those until a little while into my wig journey. <laughs> Okay, so that is it. That is the cap construction of this one. All right, very excited to try this color. This is a very uh, pretty, I can already, it is just a gorgeous color, very natural, um, yet it is dynamic enough to appeal to me because I do like dynamic colors in my wigs. Has a beautiful, natural, very nice rooting color here really pretty. We'll take a closer look at the color too when I get it on, but just from first glance, this is quite pretty. Honestly, the, the comfort of these caps is just evident right out of the gate for me. Um, I always try to, oh gosh, already, I think I'm going to love this. Again, this is, this is a first impression, so I might be a little distracted as I, <laughs> as I play with a new wig when I do this. Um, color is very pretty yeah this does remind me a little bit this does remind me a lot bit actually uh of straight up with a twist just a little longer a little more maybe a little more layers very similar um but i'm i'm so far just loving this color all right this is so exciting getting a new some new hair you guys um very exciting a little crooked I think well this is just right out of the box and uh, not too much shine just looks like healthy hair uh, there's a there is a line for me there's a line where it looks like healthy hair and then it goes over into it just looks like actual synthetic doll hair never really have a problem with that with Raquel Welch but I only get her true-to-life fibers which are the heat friendly fibers and uh, just in general, in just about any line, those heat-friendly fibers are going to look and feel a little more realistic. But I have plenty of wigs that are not heat-friendly. For instance, Kristen, the one I was wearing, is just your flat-out synthetic fiber. And uh, I absolutely love that one. So, But yeah, okay. So here we have the real deal. And uh, 
you know, it's a brand new wig. The fibers are soft, so soft, very, very realistic, both in the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it moves. Uh, so the denier is, is just spot on. They do it very well over there at Raquel Welch. <laughs> yeah. For me, the bang length, perfection. Uh, this is where I like to wear my bangs. I like to be able, there's going to be a part somewhere and I like to be able to just kind of swoop it on down. Yeah. But this, this is what I generally love is a swoopy bang that swoops kind of right around on me. I like, I like to see the swoop right around the hollow of my cheek. I think, uh, that is really becoming. Uh, and so I love seeing that. This one's very nice. So let's take a look at this one as best as I can sitting here on the couch from all sides. Next thing I want to take a look at is this gorgeous lace front. Now, oh, this is gorgeous, and I'll tell you why I think that. I'm not a huge fan of how Raquel Welch will take that very lightest color in that wig color range, and she'll do a band of it right around the hairline. I just, I don't know, I almost don't, I don't, yeah, it's just not, I don't like that. Um, I wish that she would weave some of the darker colors in with that lighter color all the way around. For instance, the Shaded Biscuit that we all love, for me with fair skin, having that light band uh, is not a good look. Uh, Shaded Cappuccino not is bad, but, and this color, I think because we're looking at, you know, sort of a dark blonde, light brown, ashy color, um, that it, it's blending in rather nicely, but you can still see you know, where that, that lightest color is, is kind of, you know, used very, very lightly all the way around the perimeter here. However, it's gorgeous with this particular color, um, not bothering me at all. But now let's take a look at that uh, monofilament. Now that monofilament is from here to here. And of course we have the lace front and it goes all the way back to here. So we have all this space that you can change up the part any which way. That looks like your actual scalp with that monofilament. And I can take that down pretty deep. Currently my favorite hairspray to use on my wigs. Now this I'm gonna leave up to you because this is a human hairspray and uh, I will, sh I will share a, a spray that is made for synthetic fibers for wigs that I also really do love, but this is the one that is my grab go-to. It's by Sebastian. It's their reshaper hairspray. This one's almost gone. I just grab it all the time. Um, the main thing you need to be aware of is if the content, the ingredient list, if it's if there's a lot of alcohol in your hairspray, and, and most hairsprays do have alcohol, um, it is going to dry out your synthetic fibers. So be aware of that. Um, I love washing my hair in the Belle Madame shampoo and conditioning balm. And it really just, I haven't had any issues with, you know, my hairspray doing any damage to my fibers. It's only been quite recently since I've been brave enough to try human hairspray on my synthetic fibers. Uh, up until then, it was a quest to find the best possible hairspray that I can that's made for these wigs and I finally found one and it's by Beauty Mark it's their style and hold hairspray and uh, it's a pump so it's a little waterier than say an aerosol like this that's why I love this though the aerosol 
uh, is lighter, airier, and I can then, you know, do sort of lighter, airier style and it stays pretty well. But I'm definitely more of a left side, a little deeper part kind of person. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this hairspray. And it's almost, almost gone. Now, the other reason why I have to put some hairspray in, especially in the beginning on a brand new wig, is it helps to, well, it helps to keep your style there, obviously. The other reason, though, is that you do have little flyaways, especially when they're new. I think they're a lot worse. Uh, and this will help to contain them so it doesn't drive you completely nuts. Uh, <laughs> because it will drive you completely nuts. So... You guys, in the beginning, get those fibers off the cap. Uh, don't be afraid of doing that because they have been squished in that net, um, you know, inside out. But nonetheless, it's all been squished in there. And so just getting a little hairspray in there and just really getting those fibers off the cap is going to make a huge difference right out of the gate. And you're going to have a more successful experience with that wig uh, and less likely to want to send it back. Not a good place to be, Loki. So right there, this just, it's going to stay. Those flyaways are just not going to drive me nuts. I haven't altered the style really too much. I've just given it just a little more body and it's quite nice. Sorry, my, my mirror is down here if you're wondering why I keep looking down. What do you guys think of this color? I hope this is representing it the way I'm seeing it because it's very pretty. I mean... Wow, completely natural. Now I do pull out a little of my own hair here and it's a mousy brown gray, but I feel like I might, you know, it's okay. It kind of blends a little better with this color than any other color I think I have. However, my hair does grow out as far as here. So I would love to add a little fill-in powder, which is that root powder. You can get at Ulta. I'll put the one I use down below. It's very, very reasonable compared to some. Um, and it's the only kind I've used and it works just fine. They're waterproof. Don't have to worry about sweating and running. But I would go ahead and take some fill-in powder out as far as my natural hairline goes right through here. That will give me a very natural, very natural hairline. And it's that little thing that sometimes can really give a huge powerful illusion. Now, if you don't have any hair to, to pull out, you don't have any natural hair growing out this way, you might still want to experiment with fill-in powder and just do a little sort of shadowing effect right there on your skin. Take your finger and blur those lines out. It might make a big difference too. So that's something that I probably would do. This, this does remind me of a longer version, a little bit longer version of Straight Up With A Twist. Now, you know I'm a tucker, so eventually I am going to want to do this. Um, you can tuck both sides, just one side. And that kind of changes the look, too. Again, you know, with a little fill and powder would go a long way right here. But you could tuck this whole thing back and feel really good about that little side um the hairline there because it's just so so well done you can count on it with a uh, raquel welch you can count on a beautiful lace front if that's something that you chose to to just be really nice
yeah, the, the, there's just not a whole lot of fussing that needs to be done with it with a style like this, really. Um, if I had my dry shampoo, I'd probably use it, not for shine, but just because I'd want. So yeah, this is uh, just so pretty. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. Just absolutely did not disappoint me. This is Real Deal by Raquel Welch in the color. I never remember the name of this color. Never remember the name of this color. It's so new to me, I don't even remember it. Iced Cappuccino. This is Iced Cappuccino. And this, I would definitely order this color again. It is really pretty. So thank you so much, Wigs by Patty's Pearls, for sending me this wig so I can share it with my viewers. Guys, I'm gonna be doing another wig chat on a, another Raquel Welch style very, very soon. So keep your eye out for that one. All right, guys, I will see you very soon. Stay well, stay safe, and stay young at heart. Bye-bye.